Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. I sent you a couple of videos of myself reading two different versions of The Three Little Pigs, the original Three Little Pigs, as well as The Three Little Pigs and The Not So Bad Wolf. That's Leo's favorite story. We read it almost every single day. And I asked you to do some comparing and contrasting. I want you to tell me how those books are similar and how they are different. I also want you to go on to Epic and pick a version of the Three Little Pigs from there and compare that one as well. We can start our compare and contrast by making a Venn diagram. We've done this before at school. Sorry, this is tricky videoing here. We've made our Venn diagrams at school before. We make our circle and we talk about the Three Little Pigs here and over here, the three little pigs and the not so bad wolf. And then in the middle, how they're the same. So the three little pigs, they just went out into the world to start their life, right? They went out into the world to build their homes. They went out into the world. to build their homes. Now, in The Three Little Pigs and the Not-So-Bad Wolf, they lived on a farm, and the farmers retired to Florida and gave the three little pigs money to move on and start their own lives. So, they lived on a farm Oops. where this is tough. the farmers retired and gave them money to move, All right? Now, similarity is there were three pigs in both stories, right? There were three pigs. There was also a wolf in both stories. In the three little pigs, those pigs played instruments, right? In the Three Little Pigs and the Not-So-Bad Wolf, they ate junk food, right? Junk food, they ate potato chips and soda pop. In both stories, they had homes made of straw, sticks, and bricks. In The Three Little Pigs and the Not-So-Bad Wolf, the wolf ended up living with the, the pigs. Let's see, what else? In, oh, in both stories, they all three pigs ended up living in the brick house. All right, let's see if you can make a Venn diagram at home and continue comparing and contrasting the two stories that I read to you 
and then add a third story to compare and contrast. You could add a third circle to connect to your Venn diagram as well. In the packet that I sent you for the compare and contrast, you can make a little book. You don't have to do this. You can just use regular paper at home and write, write about it, but you can, if you wanna print out the papers and use construction paper or other colorful paper to make a home, it says the, store, the, three, the three little pigs Compare and contrast, story house built by, I would of course write Mrs. Zielinski. You need to write your name. Then you can open it up and it says my favorite book. Out of the three books, which one was your favorite? Draw a picture from it, write some sentences to tell about it. And if you open up all three, you talk about the characters, whoops, the characters in each the setting in each, which is where it took place, where and when it took place, the villain, ooh, who was the bad guy in each story? Was it always the wolf? And then the plot, remember the plot, it is what happens at the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story. Now I can't wait to see your pictures and videos on the Class Dojo portfolio at the end of the week showing me your compare and contrast activities. Have a great day.